In this video, I'm going to talk about how we can use the calculator to quickly create forward and backward difference tables which are commonly used in the interpolation part of the numerical analysis and computer programming chapter of paper 2 UPSC CSE math optional. So in interpolation problems, we are typically given some values of x and some values of f of x and we need to find the value of f of x at some other x. So here uh, values of x are given at 2, 2.2, 2.4 and so on and their corresponding values are given as well and we need to find log of 2.91 uh, based on this. So for this uh, if you can recall we create tables x, y, delta, y, delta square, y and so on. Now uh, in many cases the value of f of x are integers something where they finding out difference is easy but in some cases they are uh, decimal values and all and there is a high prone of making errors when we're using a calculator and actually we can quickly calculate the uh, make the table directly using the calculator so i'll be using the spreadsheet mode for the same so that is number eight so go to the spreadsheet mode we do not care about x here let us in the first column, let us write the values of f of x 0 0.30103, 0 0.34242, 0 0.34242, 0 0.38021, 0 0.41497, 0 0.44716. 0.47721 so our first uh, first column has six values so when we start drawing our uh, in, uh, difference table we'll see that the second column needs to have five third four fourth two and fifth one like like that so it's a five four three two one uh, the the table will kind of uh, merge itself so uh, to calculate the first forward difference or backward difference whatever you can call it in in column b we are going to go to option fill formula and the formula is going to be a2 minus a1 that's how we calculate the differences right so the first entry of the first column or second entry of the first column minus the first entry of the first column and I'm going to fill this formula from B1 to B5 because I know that there are going to be 5 entries in the second column. And I've got the for first forward difference here. Okay. Now for the second forward difference, I'll do the same thing. Fill formula in C column. So that will be B2 minus B1. And four entries will be there, so C1 to C4. And that will give you the corresponding values. Now, it might be difficult for you to uh, read these values, so we will see what to do about that as well. Um, and then again, in, in the column D, we'll go to option, fill formula. Formula would be C two minus C one range will be B one to D two sorry it has to be B one to D three so fill formula C two sorry C two minus C one range will be d1 to d3 that's our d1 to d3 and then column e fill formula d1 d2 minus d1 range will be d1 to d2 so that gives us so we have only five uh, columns in, in in the spreadsheet part of this calculator so for it for the last column You'll have to do it manually. So yeah, this in this way our forward difference table has been created. Now, if you or backward difference, whatever you want to call it, but if you want to uh, this uh, get the value to the exact uh, significant figures of column C and D, 
then uh, it might be a problem because uh, we, we we see the uh, only the formula mentioned in this working line so for that what we can do is shift so this button so we are going to set up go down to spreadsheet so number 4 show cell so press 2 and write formula well, sorry value 2 so now we've got the values for each of the uh, numbers so uh, now we can just copy this into our table so so that's going to be 2 2.2 2 2.4 2 2.6 2 2.8 3. .2. now just copy the table as it is so 0 0.30103 0 0.30104 0 0.30104 0 0.4476 0 0.03219 0 0.03005 0 0.03005 0 0.03005 0 0.006 negative sorry 0 0.0036 0 0.00303 negative 0 0.00257 minus 0 0.00214 so delta q by 0 0.00057 0 0.00046 0 0.00043 delta power 4 by 0 0.00 one one minus zero point zero 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 three. Now here, uh, if you remember, um, log two. Okay, let me just complete the table first. Delta per five s for delta per five. I am just going to calculate uh, the e. So I'm going to write here. Either you can calculate it manually or you can use a formula. So I'm going to write equal to or rather just simply e2 minus e1 that will give us 0 0.00008 so this is how we have made the table actually uh, obviously see the 2.91 is closer to uh, the end value of the uh, table so we're going to use the backward interpolation so this i can just instead of this right y delta y delta square y delta cube y delta power 4 y delta y y and we're going to use these values in a formula i'm not going to write the formula here but I'm sure you already know about it. So, thank you. Uh, this is how we can simply use forward and backward interpolation. Uh, one quick thing uh, for those of you who do not know how to about the spreadsheet mode. So, uh, 
let me first quickly revert back to the formula mode so that in the future you don't get confused so spreadsheet show cell formula so now we've got the formulas back now uh, here we had only mentioned a2 minus a1 in our uh, form uh, in our uh, formula when we were writing but the calculator is smart enough to know that if it first has to calculate a2 minus a1, then in the next cell it will calculate a3 minus a2, then a4 minus a3, a5 minus a4, a6 minus a5, and so on. So we do not have to worry about the of writing each cell's formula separately. We can just write one formula, give it the range, and the calculator will be smart enough to uh, to 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 find out the uh, pattern. And uh, this is just like how it is done in Excel, Microsoft Excel as well. So that's what uh, I wanted to say. Uh, thank you.